Once you finish designing your part, open up Edge Cam. Icon looks like this, and I've already got mine open. Um, you'll also have had to license it by going through the key, and we talked about that in class. So if you can't remember how to do that, just come see me. So we're going to open up the parts, and I've called mine bottom of box. I've named it new bottom box. It's a new part from last year. So we open it up. It looks like this. If you right click and hold down the right mouse button, then you can rotate it around. So I'm going to look at it like this. We want the milling machine bit to be on this corner. So we first are going to click stock. So click this button. And it should say automatic stock. Everything else should look like this. It should be like that default. Click OK. And now it's made a rectangular prism around here. And next thing we need to do is go to geometry and create a CPL. So we're going to create that. Click origin. Change this through three points. This should say mill. Then click OK. And we need to select where we were telling the uh, computer that the milling bit is going to be. So I'm right clicking it to reorient this. It's hard to get in the corner. Um, so I'm going to click that one there. I always like the corners to be floating out in space. Then we do this bottom right corner, then the top left corner, and then back to the original. You see I can't get it here, so if I rotate it back, uh, I can find it easier. And now the red line is my X. That there's a green arrow here that's Y and the blue zero blue arrow in the up direction is Z. So I come XYZ, that looks good. The last thing I need to do is click the feature finder button right here. So we click that. Make sure this says auto and then click OK. And it will find all of these features. And if you look over here under the features tab, then here they all are. That's what we need. So now I'm going to go over to manufacture mode, this little bit up in the top right corner. And the only thing you're going to need to check is discipline. It should say mill. And machine tool should say ProLite 1000. We had to install these one at a time on each of the computers, so make sure yours is there. Uh, we are doing it in absolute mode, not incremental or relative mode. It's all absolute mode. Um, and then we'll click OK. And now we're good here. So next thing we need to do is go through roughing. So click roughing. And we want to rough out the mill portion of this, so we're going to click 2D Pocket. Click it one time, and then hit the Enter key twice. And then it asks you, what do you want to do to mill this? So we're going to leave it at Climb, 50% step over. Go to Tooling. We're going to set the feed rate to 40, plunge speed to 20, and speed set at 6,000. Since we're doing wood, uh, we can actually do it higher. You did calculations in the final and came up with something like um, 6,000 RPM and a feed rate of 85. Um, it won't go that high, so we're going to set it up to this. Diameter is 0.25. And your cut depth clearance is a quarter inch, so that's its safe zone. We're going to set this cut increment to 0.22, 22 hundredths of an inch, and then click OK. And then it gives you a tool path, so it shows it's milling that out. Next thing you need to do is go to profiling. And we're going to profile the outside edge, which is this 2D boss. So click it once, hit enter twice. Go to tooling, 40, 20, 6,000. And depth for the outside edge, a cut increment of see what did I want that at? it was point it set at point one so cut increment of point one we click OK and now that profiles this and you can actually see there's three lines since we're cutting a depth of point two eight and we're only going point one at a time we gotta do three cycles and that's the reason we're doing three cycles on the inside here we're cutting point six five point two two at a time the last thing we want to do is do the flatland operation and we click on flat face number five and then enter twice. We'll do a 50% step over on this because we're just going to get rid of the corners that the milling thing didn't operate. If you look at the mouse, there's going to be a little corner here, 
corner on the top. We're just going to get rid of those. Toolings 40, 26,000, 0.25. Depth clearance 0.25. And leave everything else. Click OK. And now, if we want to preview this, you click Simulate Machining. And we click Play. And it runs in there, and it's going to, I'm going to speed this thing up. It simulates the whole thing, shows you if it's going to work out the way you wanted. Changed tool. We actually don't have a tool change. And then the last operation is get rid of those corners. So you can see it does go around. That last operation goes around a couple times, doesn't do anything. So just keep that in mind when you're milling. It's going to feel like it's not doing anything, but that's just part of what it has to do to clean it up. So that looks good. Now we save it as NC code, the CNC code. So click this. And you can title this CNC code your name. And then click OK. And programmer's name. So I'll put your name in there. And here it is. It'll say program by. It'll say you. Now we do need to do a little bit of cleaning up. And so this is why you learned NC code. We do not have a tool change. So let's just highlight all of this line here. And I'm going to backspace delete that. We don't want that. You can also see that it set the speed to 5,000 and we actually wanted it at 6,000 so change that to 6,000 everything else is good it is preset to inch mode so we don't need a G20 in there um, so all else is good now if we scroll down a little bit further we're gonna find another option another tool change and another S5000 well we don't really want any of these lines we don't want the spindle to stop we don't want a tool change and we don't want to reset the speeds. I'm going to get rid of all those. And then you're going to have one more. So that was about two thirds down. And this next one is just below it. So I'll get rid of these three lines. And that flatland operation is, is quite a bit of code. So you can see we have um, about 410 lines of code. It goes every other, goes even numbers. So that would be a lot of hand coding. We click File and save this as and save it to whatever drive you have and you can call this NC code bottom box uh, something like that just to help you remember where it is then you click save and then you are good to go for the next project